It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to Science Bowl as we continue with our semi-final competition here with our elementary schools. Two of our best schools here today. Let's meet them right now. First from Cora Rice, would you please say hello to Emmanuel George. Kalei Ogunbor and Keetan Ogunbor, her sister. And from Northview Elementary, please say hello to Brandon Jackson, Tyler Ziegler, and Kuba Yadam. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the questions, with the easier ones on the left worth 5 and 10, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. Again, to the two rounds, one of these two talented teams will come back to play Berwyn Heights to go on to the finals as the first of the final four. So we have a lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything works properly. Kalei, would you try your buzzer for me? All right, push the buzzer. Thank you. That's a group push over there. She and Kitan and Emmanuel, good luck to you. And Tyler, would you try yours? Green team buzzer looks and sounds great over there. Good luck to you, to Cuba and to Brandon. Congratulations, teams, on making it this far in our competition. Let's have a great game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically C before N. So, Cora Rice, let's play the bowl. Uh, uh, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points, teams, to start us out. Although... They are less destructive than their land-based cousins. Water spouts are indeed forms of these kinds of storms. For a rice. Tornadoes. Tornadoes, absolutely right. Good. Go red. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, there's a new Ferris wheel going into National Harbor. It's going to be called the Capital Wheel. From one side of the, to the other, since it's a perfect circle, it's 165 feet. That distance is known mathematically as the what, Cora Rice? Um, yes, ma'am. The radius? Not the radius. Good try. North view? Diameter. Diameter is right. Poor Kuba was, he was jumping out of his seat over there. He knew exactly what that was. Good comeback. 60, 65, go green. Uh, Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade 15 points. Teams, in some animal species, the males, when it is not breeding season, go off and stay in quarters by themselves. And even though they don't have a rose ceremony that they give to the ladies, they still call these quarters what kind of quarters? Cora Rice. Flirting? Not flirting, no. Northview, there is no rose ceremony. The Unmated males do not give roses to the females, but in many animal species, the males go off by themselves and live in, live in what quarters? Bachelor quarters, if you've ever seen the bachelor or the bachelorette when they give the roses, that's the reference there. Go green, Tyler. Uh, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points seems your question is as follows. If you've ever seen a diagram of a food chain or a food web, the plants are always identified as the autotrophs, A-U-T-O, T-R-O-P-H-S. What are autotrophs? Why designate plants as such? What do you think, Cora Rice? Um, they make their own food. They make their own food. Absolutely right. Auto, same, trope, feeding. Self-feeding, good answer. Nicely parsed. Okay, Kale, go. Uh, Dateline Science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, 
Jeff Bezos says that Amazon in the not too distant future will be delivering the things that you buy with these pilotless planes, Cora Rice. Um, helicopters? Not helicopters. North, you what are these pilotless planes that may someday be delivering your Amazon purchases to your front door? Drones. Drones, yes, little drones out there. Looking like giant dragonflies all over the place. Okay, 70 to 85 advantage green. Go. Uh, body system for 10. Science? Body system. Body yes. systems for 10 points. Seems your question is as follows. We human beings have a lot of useless body parts. We have a tail that we don't need. We have a appendix we don't need. And men have nipples we don't use. We also have these kind of teeth that we don't need. Cora Rice. Canine. Not canines, no. North, what kind of teeth do we have that we really wisdom don't need? Teeth. Wisdom, teeth. wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth, yes, that's why those are extracted. We do need our canines because we are carnivorous animals as well as plant eating animals. Okay, 80, 85, green again. Uh, zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15. Uh, that one is taken. Tire another one. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, other than fingerprints, one of the more modern biometric identifiers is the color pattern in this colored part of your eye, North View. Iris. Iris, yes, the iris pattern. If you look, you will gain admittance. Someday, maybe even you'll be able to log on to your iPad just by looking at it. All right, 95, 85, North View, please. Science Pope Reef for 15. Pope Reef for 15 points, teams. There was a very toxic chemical that was dumped into a river in West Virginia recently. It was so toxic they couldn't drink the water because it was very highly concentrated. The farther down the river it went, it got less and less concentrated and more and more what? Cora Rice. Pure. 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 Not quite pure, no, good try. Northview, it became less concentrated as it went farther downstream and became more what? Water down. Watered down. Yes, indeed. Or dilute. The judges are accepting it. Indeed. Go green. Dateline Science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, there is a new book out called Grain Brain. It's all about the dangers of eating this kind of nutrient that along with fats... Northview? Wheat? I mean gluten? Oh. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Cora Rice, Grain Brain is a new book about the dangers of eating this kind of nutrient that along with fats and proteins makes up practically everything we eat. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, absolutely right. Good try there, Tyler, because wheat was a carbohydrate, but the judges needed more specificity there. That was a quick round. The buzzer has rung. Let's check that score. Cora Rice, 100. Northview, 110. Doesn't get much better than that or closer. We'll be back with round two in a moment. Don't go away. I'm going to school pregnant, round the bus. That was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions and even little kids make you nervous just staring at you. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. You're his mom. You're supposed to be the one taking care of him and raising him. But when you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. When I found out I was pregnant, I don't know, just a light hit me in my heart, just saying, adoption, what you need to do. I really have a simple dream. I just want to get my nursing career, get married, and have a family. When I get pregnant again, get them a better life. I'm Miranda, and I chose adoption. What if you could unleash your child's creativity while preparing them for a successful future? What if you could ignite your child's love of learning with one after-school program? What if that one program was easy and fun and taught critical thinking, teamwork, and communication? Destination Imagination is the one. Destination Imagination has been teaching kids teamwork, creativity, and problem solving for more than 25 years. Our students report increased ability to excel at school. Teachers report better attention and participation in our students. A major university study has documented how our students are ahead of others in creativity and innovation, skills that employers want and our future needs. To learn more about Destination Imagination, go to www.startateam.org 
and make Destination Imagination the one for you. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We've got six great players here some of whom may look familiar to you. Because Northview, this is their third appearance this year, and on Cora Rice, we have a couple of veterans from last year. So if they're playing this game well, it's because, one, they're great students, and two, they have been here before. They know the ropes. Let's go over and talk to the team from Cora Rice. And Calais, nice to have you here, you and your sister both. Uh, Tell me, is there some sibling rivalry here, or do you guys get along pretty well? Uh, we get along pretty well. Uh, that is quite obvious. I wouldn't have put you on the spot otherwise. You're both just great players. And, Kali, tell me about Cora Rice, a relatively new school, not far from our studio here in Landover, up near FedEx Field. Who's your principal? Um, uh, principal Maddie Turner. Wonderful. And out there rooting for you, and I know she's behind you. And who's the sponsor of your team? Uh, Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker's been with us for a couple of years, and a more intense sponsor you will not find. He is on top of things. He's practicing with you guys, and I know how well prepared you are because he's just a great teacher. Did you have any alternates on your team? Um, we have Theo Finn, Nazira, Wendy. We have a lot. You um, have a lot of them, yes, indeed. Go ahead. You, did you want to mention the other names? Um, De Dejan mm -hmm. and uh, Sharon. Wonderful. And those that are here, we'll bring them out in just a few moments along with Miss Baker. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Thank you for mentioning those names to me. What do you like best about Cora Rice? What's a really um, good thing about your school? Well, this year we have a lot of really cool field trips. Ah, where have you been? Oh, no. Uh, in February, sixth grade is going to is going to be going to North Bay for four days. Oh, yeah, that's a great place. And then have you been, no, you don't go down to Camp Schmidt, I think, until maybe you get uh, farther along in your, your academic career, but that's another nice spot to go. Well, field trips, uh, any kind of enrichment activities, like Science Bowl, they really add to your education. We're really glad you're here today and you've got those opportunities. Tell me what you want to do someday. Um, I want to be an inventor. An inventor, so you like to tinker with things. Yes. And, uh, yeah, everyone, they say if you build a better mouse trap, the world will beat a path to your door. So if you come up with something great, you're going you're gonna to have a lot of fans, Kale. Kitan, nice to have you with us today. Tell me about what you do in your spare time. Um, I usually go swimming, and I want to be an actress. Yeah. I can so. see you've got a lot of poise. I can see you on stage and, you know, nice composure. And do you want to be a dramatic actress or a comedic actress, or do you want to do everything? Just everything. Everything. That's right. Try it all because you, they say try your chops on everything, you know, and see uh, what you can do. And uh, some of today's great actors and actresses do that. You know, sometimes they appear in roles that are so unexpected. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? I also do badminton because mm -hmm. I like getting outside. Yeah. And you mentioned swimming, and you swim over here at the Sports and Learning Complex yep. in Landover. That's just a fantastic pool. And Emmanuel, I think you swim as well, don't you? Yeah. Among other things, this young man mentioned as among uh, his many favorite things to do is eat. And Sue, so you're a good eater, right? And you also like to cook, and you like to bake. And you're in the kitchen a lot, huh? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite food? Uh, I have a lot of favorite <laughs> Give me one. Pizza. Pizza, all right, I'm with you on that. Of course, I don't like cheese. I can't eat cheese, so the other part's good. Tell me what you like to bake. Um, cookies. Cookies, yeah. You didn't bring any for us today, did you? Yeah. No, we could have given you a couple extra points here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you want to do when you get older. Uh, I want to be an engineer and an inventor. Inventor, all right. So you and Calais have a lot in common. So good science students and good math students both. You're playing a nice game. You keep it up. Northview, nice to have you guys back again in your signature Northview lab coats. Boy, you've been coming here for years, and you always wear them. They're always clean and pressed, and, uh, boy, you just say science when you come onto the science bowl. Tyler, tell us about your school. It's over there in Bowie, relatively new school. And who's your principal? Mr. Simmons. Mr. Simmons. And you have two great sponsors, don't you? Who are they? Miss Grove and Mr. Moffitt. And they are down the hall, and boy, they are so into Science Bowl as well, and they always prepare you so well, and they make sure that not only are you prepared academically, but sartorially as well. You always look good when you come on the set here, and you've come so close to the championship. Once more, you're close to the championship. That just testifies to what a great school you've got. What do you like best about Northview? Um, well, we have these clubs, uh, ballroom dance, that I like. Wow, ballroom dance. You know, over at Whitehall, I think they have something like that because I remember we were there and they were all dressed up. Do you dress up for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, there's nothing like that. You know, 
when I was younger, there was something called cotillion, where you learned all these different dances. And uh, it sounds like a throwback to that. What do you want to do someday, Tyler? I want to be an entrepreneur. Oh, what kind of business do you have in mind? Being a hotel owner. Oh, a hotel owner, yeah. There are a lot of boutique hotels being built now. You know, not these real big ones, but they're kind of small, elite, and expensive places. I can see you doing that. You look a style. You're a very stylish young lady. Cuba, nice to have you with us today. Uh, you have your whole career planned out. Mm -hmm. You want to go to Harvard or Johns Hopkins or what other school do you have in mind? Georgetown. Georgetown. And when you get there, uh, you want to be a scientist, you hope. Mm -hmm. But then eventually, what do you want to do? Um, eventually, I would want to go to... Wall Street, so yeah. you could get in those big businesses, yeah. and then um, when I like old older, mm -hmm. I would like to own like a really knickknack shop, <laughs> when you own like little toys and stuff. Yeah, you're already thinking about retirement. My goodness, you've got it all planned out. Well, you're a disciplined young man, and you already look the part of the Wall Street banker over there, and uh, you can make some money up there too, as I know you know. Brandon, nice to have you with us today. You want to be a chemist, huh? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I like mixing chemicals. Yeah, and when you mix these chemicals, how do you protect yourself from any harm? Glasses and gloves. Wonderful. Okay, and an apron doesn't hurt either. Do you do this at home or at school? At home. At home. And you have supervision, right? Yeah. Someone's watching over you. Good. What do you do in your spare time, Brandon? Play video games. Video games. And why do you want to be on this show? Because I like to play, in, I like to play in combat. <laughs> I like to, I like science. You like science? Well, you're in the right spot because this is the science bowl, and we're really happy you're with us today. Hope, have a, hope you're having a good time. Let's get back into the game. Northview 110, Cora Rice 100. Last correct answer came from the red team. Calais, lots of points giveaway. Where to? Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. It's a visual question. Look at the monitor, teams. Teams, this plant was recently stolen from a botanical garden in London. It is the tiniest ever variety of what aquatic plant that has pads. Tyler? Lily pad. Lily pad or a water lily. Absolutely right. Sometimes the pads are so big a human being can stand on them. This one only grows in one tiny part of Rwanda in Central Africa. Very, very rare, and someone stole it. Go green. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, the predator-repelling bad breath of the tobacco-eating hornworm is so bad because of what chemical in the tobacco it eats? Coral rice. Nicotine. Nicotine, that's right. Smoker's breath on a caterpillar. Who would have thunk it? Go red. Um... Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. A multiple choice question for you, teams. The webbing that is known as an interfemoral membrane can be found on a bat, a duck, or a duckbill platypus. Which one would have webbing known as an interfemoral membrane? Duck. Northview. Duck. Not a duck. What kind of, the webbing known as an interfemoral membrane would be found on a bat, a duck, or a duckbill platypus? A um, duckbill platypus? Femoral means leg. Which of those animals has webbing between its legs? A bat, the one neither of you chose. Go red. Five points down. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams on the old television show Gilligan's Island. The professor thought that there was some radioactive material on the island, so using a piece of bamboo, he made one of these ticking instruments that lets you know that radioactivity is nearby, Northview. Um, uh, what's your name? What's the thing? Brandon. Brandon, what do you Giggle call it? Monitor. A what? Giggle monitor. No, no, Cora Rice, what is the, that ticking instrument that lets you know that radioactivity is near? A metal detector? It's called a Geiger counter, a Geiger counter. Try again, please, red. Mm, uh, Dayline signs for 25. Dayline for 25 points. The big one in that category is as follows. Teams, what famed French scientist is thought to be the father of bacteriology because he came up with the... Yes, Cora Rice. 
a Louis Pasteur? Louis Pasteur, yes, a vaccine for rabies and anthrax. The first scientist to tell surgeons they needed to wash their hands before they operated. Nicely done. Good group think over there. 140, 120, advantage red. Science for brief for five. Pope Brief for five points. Visual question. Look at the monitor, if you would, please, in the studio. Looking like a tabletop, this rock sits atop a frozen column of ice that didn't melt when the rest of what ice sheet all around it did. Coral rice. Glacier. Glacier, yeah, it's called a glacier table, and it is found in Iceland. Go again, please. Red. Body system. Um, Zoop rate for 10. Zoop rate for 10 points. Teams. If you needed more proof that a, a flea is an insect, you wouldn't have to look any further than the fact that it is hexapodal, meaning it has what? Six. Cora rice. Six. Six. six legs. Six legs, hexapodal, six legs. You parsed that very nicely. Thank you, Kitan and Emmanuel. You're doing very nicely with Calais there. Go, red. Um, uh, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. Big question. Teams, very few birds can fly over the Himalaya mountains. It's not because they're so tall. It's not because it's so cold. It's because there is lacking something up there that they need. What is missing? What is missing, Cora Rice? Oxygen. Oxygen, yes. The lack of oxygen means, you know, that the birds cannot sustain themselves as they fly over. But there are at least two species of geese that can do it. Go, Red. Um, Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25. Come on, North, you get back in the game. Zoo Parade for 25 points, teams. Interesting, kind of disgusting. Rabbits, because everything eats them. When they go out to eat, they hurriedly have to eat, run back to their burrow, and then to get all the nutrients that they need, they then do what in the burrow, Regurgitate. North View? Regurgitate. And then go. what? Eat it. They eat it. They eat their poop. Absolutely right. 25 points for North View. Go. Green. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If I told you that corn is an anemophilous plant, you go, what is he talking about? But if you knew what kind of instrument an anemometer is, you would know that. Cora Rice. Um, what do you want to tell me? It has starch. It doesn't have starch. Northview, corn is an anemophilous plant means nothing to you. But if you know what an anemometer is, an instrument, that will tell you that corn is a plant that is pollinated how? By um, wind blowing. Absolutely right. An anemometer measures wind speed and it is pollinated by the wind. Nicely done. Go green. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Score update. Northview 170. Cora Rice 180. Score body, uh, category body systems for 20 points. Teams, if you've ever read Alice in Wonderland, that poor girl was shrinking and getting bigger all the time. Must be that her endocrine glands were pumping out a lot of what kind of chemicals all the time, Cora Rice? Hormones. Hormones, that's right. She had a big hormonal imbalance in there. Nicely done. Go red. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points, team. You know, there are some eternal questions like which came first, the chicken or the egg? The other one is, if one of these green things falls in the forest, does it make a sound? Tree, North you? Tree. A tree, that's right. Go, green. Let's get physical for ten. Let's get physical for ten points, teams. If the windshield washer fluid freezes on your windshield, mechanics say add 16 ounces of this isopropyl rubbing chemical to it. Cora Rice. Rubbing oil? Not rubbing oil, no. North you? Alcohol. Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to the container and that will keep it from freezing up. Good. Come back. Go green. Body systems for 25. Body systems, 25 points. Big one in that category. Get ready, everybody. The umbilical cord connects the umbilicus or belly button or navel of the baby to what on its mother? Cora Rice. The stomach? Not the stomach, no. Northview, the umbilical cord, connects the navel or belly button of the baby to what structure on its mother? Mm -hmm. Esophagus. Esophagus? No, the placenta. The placenta was the right answer. Go green. Um, Zooparate for five. Zooparate for five points, teams. 
President Obama said at a recent State of the Union address that this migrating fish is under the control of the Commerce Department. Cora Salmon. Rice. Salmon. Salmon is right. Yes, indeed. Go red. Um... Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, because this past winter has been so cold and snow has been melting and going down into the asphalt, all the expanding and contracting is producing these whale wheel wrecking chasms all over the road. Cora Rice. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Sleet. No, not sleet. What are these wheel wrecking chasms called all over the road that are being produced by the expanding and contracting of the asphalt as the snow melts inside? Okay. Potholes. Okay. Potholes. Go red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you're suffering from Bieber fever, or any kind of fever, your temperature is higher than what number? Cora Rice. It's higher than 72 degrees. Nope. Not higher than 72. If you're running a Bieber fever, or any fever, you're running a fever higher than what number? Yep. 95. 98.6 is body temperature. Four questions left. 185, 205, red again. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points, teams. As we learn more about the country of Iran and their development of nuclear weapons, we now know that the main fuel for nuclear reactors is the enriched form of what chemical element? Plutonium. plutonium. Cora Rice. Plutonium? No, not plutonium. Northview. Uranium. Uranium is right. Yes, go green. Uh, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category, teams. Joseph Fraunhofer invented the spectroscope, and he got ideas from Isaac Newton, who took this piece of glass, which takes white light and breaks it up into all the colors of the rainbow. Name it, Tyler. He took a prism. Prism is right. Yes, good. Green. Dateline. Oh, da yeah. Dateline science. For five. Dateline Science for five points teams. Recently, a man in Texas bid $350,000 for the right to shoot and kill one of these African animals. Northview. Elephant. Not an elephant. Cora Rice, this Texan bid $350,000 to go to Namibia in Africa to shoot and kill one of these large endangered animals that comes in a black and white variety. Zebra. A rhino. Black and white rhinos. The buzzer is rung. Our game is over. We will be back in one moment. Don't you go away. I assess the needs of a community to make sure that our work will be sustainable. We are working to change the world to make it a better place. Through our sustainable engineering projects, thousands of members in more than 225 universities and professional chapters work to support these efforts in over 45 countries. To find out more about how you can get involved, go to www.ewb-usa.org and click Get Involved. Build a better world with us. Build a better world with us. Build a better world with us, one community at a time. I'm Gary Sinise. I've had the great privilege of meeting and working with many of our country's heroes, our veterans, and heard their stories. But for the 58,272 names on the Vietnam Wall, their stories will never be shared. Help us change that. The Education Center at the Wall will put faces to the names, displaying photos, letters, and mementos of those who served, so their stories will never be forgotten. Visit buildthecenter.org and help us build it. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed this Science Bowl game at home as much as we did here in the studio. We've got a few tears up here, and that is no surprise. These young people gave it their all. They both deserve to win. They're all winners in our eyes, and we're going to see these young people back here again. Our final tally today is Cora Rice 205, Northview 230. Congratulations. Those white coats, that gives you some advantage over there, guys. I'm positive. Brandon and Tyler and Kuba. And back there, we've got Samaya and Banke. Mr. Simmons, the principal of Northview, is joining us today. We're so glad he's here. Miss Elizabeth Grove and Mr. Bruce Moffat, always sending us a great team. Congratulations. We're going to see you in the next round. Cora Rice, give me some smiles. I know it's hard right now. You played a super game. Kitan, Calais, and Emmanuel. Mr. Baker, you always give us the best team that we've seen in a long time. Cora Rice, I know you're going to be back with us. We want to see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye-bye.